Hey everybody. Today I'm going to show you something that I decided to do with this wool sweater. So I bought this sweater at a thrift store for four dollars. I haven't looked it up yet but I'm guessing that maybe it's pretty expensive. Um, so what I was going to do is I need a wool pressing mat for wool applique. So my thought was to cut this back section out and then fold it in half. But then I had a better idea because I have another plan for that. What I'm going to do, it's kind of like a hood, but not really because it doesn't like have sides. I guess it's just like an oversized collar. What I'm going to do is cut across here and then stitch that up together. And this is going to be my wool cutting mat. So this is two layers thick. It's super thick. And then I have other plans for this part and the sleeves, which will be in future videos. So today, what I'm going to do is cut this and then stitch it up. And that'll be my wool pressing mat for wool applique. Alright, see you soon. Okay, so now I have a straight edge here. As you can see, this is two layers thick. So it's kind of like pita bread, you know. Um, it's pretty big. So I'm going to say it is let me see, about 18 inches wide here. And then at the center part across here, it is about 13. So it's 18 by 13 except for the curve. All right, so the thickness comes out to about a half inch, which is exactly what is recommended for a wool pressing mat. So what I'm gonna do is take some just DMC Pearl Cotton. I've got my tapestry needle and I'm going to blanket stitch these edges together. And then I'll be back and I'll show you that when it's finished. All right, so I got this done. You probably can't even see it, but it's blanket stitched with the blue thread so it blends right in. So there, that's all done. It's not the perfect shape, but hey, it's thick. The whole sweater I was only $4 and I'm gonna get other projects out of it. And now I have a wool ironing mat for my wool applique. I also bought this at Walmart. This was $12.88. It's a tiny little mini thing. You can see it's actually shorter than my hand. So I will let you know how this works out also. I did find one on Amazon. It was $19.99 and the same one was at Walmart for $13. So Amazon is not always the cheapest. So I'll let you know in a future video how this works out. I got it just for a little applique. And that's the end of today's video. So uh, happy stitching everybody and I'll see you next time. Bye. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up.